All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new headphone review. And again, this is the first review I've seen done on these on Amazon, on YouTube, on anywhere. So I hope this helps. And today we're going to be reviewing the new Skull Candy Uproar. That's the Uproar, not the Uprock. And actually, these are on the ear headphones that are replacing the Uprock. And they've made definitely made some improvements um, and the price tag on them are $34.99 so not an expensive headset so these are not to be compared with much more expensive headsets so I'm gonna get into if I think the $35 is worth it and what you're getting and let's just go ahead and get right into it. okay as far as accessories there's absolutely none that come with it you don't get a case the cable is not detachable so we get to skip the accessories part we will, however, go right into the headphones themselves. And as you can see, they're not large at all. Uh, they do resemble the Uprock uh, to a certain extent, but I think Skull Candy definitely made some really big improvements uh, from the Uprock to the new Uproar. And to kind of start off with that, the plastic build of these actually don't seem as fragile as you would think. Uh, most plastic bodies feel like they'll snap easily and I'm not saying these won't I'm not gonna twist these to see if they will or not uh, But one of the big improvements over the uprock to the new uproar are the ear cups now the ear cups on the original ones was was this weird like cloth type material um, Which wasn't bad, but they have now upgraded to the leather ish leather at whatever material and as you can see there are the little pinhole designs, which is the same thing they used on their new Skull Candy Grind headphones. Um, so when they're sitting on your head or on your ear, they actually give you a pretty good seal where it blocks out a lot of the noise around you. So as far as noise isolation, these do a pretty good job. On the headphones themselves, if you can see in here, the left and the right are marked, and you can, there's a little Skull Candy logo, but they're marked on the inside. There's no kind of markings on the outside other than the little Skull Candy logo. Uh, the cable on them are not detachable, and they're on both sides of the ear, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't just come out of one side. You've got it on both, but it's the flat cable, and as you can see, there's a little bit of tangle, but it's not as bad as if they were the more rounded off cables. It's not braided. It's the rubber. Um, so you do have to kind of keep that in mind that if that part breaks, you can't really replace it. The cable's in there. It's just stuck in there. Um, on the left side, you can see the little tiny pinhole. That's where your mic um, is located. And that's important because on these, like on headphones, you're used to kind of seeing the little thing that you can pause and skip and do all that on the cable. They don't do that on the cable on these. They're actually built onto the headphone themselves. On the back left part of the ear cup is Skull Candy's new uh, tap technology thing that they put on. They put it on the grind and they've now put it on these as well. And this is where you can answer your call. You know, the same thing as your usual tap it twice to skip the song, tap it three times to go backwards, once is to pause and to play. So it's actually pretty cool because when they're on, and as you can tell, they don't stick out far. They really conform to your head pretty well. Um, the controls are right there. So you don't have to go digging around and trying to find it on the cable. It's just right there. And as you can see, when I extended these out, it's plastic on the inside. So this thing is completely plastic head to toe. And that's kind of important because again, if you're using them for certain things, you might have to worry about the durability. Um, but for overall use, um, I think they'll hold up pretty well. Now on to the sound, which is the most important part of the headphones. It doesn't matter if they're comfortable, if they sound like crap. But for $35, I can say, and I, you have to keep the $35 part in mind because you can't, again, compare them to things that are three to four times as much. Skull Candy has some higher end headphones that are ridiculous. But these for $35, and especially if you like bass, you're getting your money's worth. Now, audiophiles or people that are really picky about so sound may not want to go with these. And I say that because the bass is so prominent 
that the highs are really, really laid back. So it's not as clean as most headphones. Um, I'd say the sound signature starts with the treble here and just kind of goes straight up to bass in that, just in that straight line. And with saying that, I think these headphones are built and geared towards um, a very young demographic. So as far as like top 40 type music, uh, anything with a lot of bass, rap, uh, anything, it's there. Like the bass is there and it sounds good for those genres of music. Now, rock, I thought that these definitely didn't fit very well with that. Um, and again, that's because you want your treble and your mid to come out more. And these headphones just don't do that. But overall, value-wise, for $35, um, I think they're really um, a great headset in that, in that range of money. Um, you can do some research, spend a little bit more, find stuff that's better. But straight up retail for 35, uh, I, I definitely can recommend them. They're new, so they might be kind of hard to find right now. Um, obviously, you can go on Skull Candy's website and buy them. And again, just like any other Skull Candies, these are available in all kind of colors. Um, I personally just like black headphones. Uh, they're more clean, and then they just have their own. They kind of have a an awesome stealth look to them. But again, sound-wise, make sure this is what you're looking for. This sound is not going to be for everybody. I think the bass is so strong, which is a good thing. A lot of people like bass, and they spend a ton of money just to get bass. And these, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You get great bass, uh, mediocre sound overall, really good noise isolation uh, to block out other things. They do leak a little bit. Um, but overall, for $35, it's worth giving it a shot. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review. Uh, this was special to me because this is the first review of these headphones. One of my first reviews I ever did was the Skull Candy Hash 2 Wireless, which I was the first to do those. And so it was nice to kind of come back to these. Uh, but thank you for checking out the video. Make sure to hit the like button. And any questions, just let me know. And stay tuned for more.